I hope you enjoyed the previous part in this video series. And I imagine you enjoyed meeting Martin Warminghausen too. I particularly liked a couple things he said. I, I liked the part where he said, well, it, took a little, it was a little bit like excavating history. And I thought that was, uh, was so apropos to be able to go back into history like he did and figure out you know, this whole system and why it was engineered the way it was and why things uh, you know, fail and what leaks and what has to be fixed. The other part I liked was when he talked about it was like watchmaking. And you could see that the, he had to use that magnifying light to even show you the intricacies of some of those check valves. And you saw what he had to go through to rebuild those check valves with those little seals in there. And you can imagine, well, yeah, of course, if those seals leak, you know, the car is going to go down. But then he says, can't be sure and tell people it doesn't end there. Even if you are able to get those little valves rebuilt, there's a whole sequence of testing that needs to be done. And then after all the testing, there's some set points that need to be adjusted properly or your car won't ride at the right height. So in this, in this part, Martin's going to take you, not through the whole thing because it's very, it's kind of complex, but he said, Kent, I'll just do a little short section on what I had to do to test these valves before I put everything back together and ship them back to you. Uh, after that is done, I, this, the new rebuilt valve needs some testing. I cannot show you exactly how this is working. This is a long process. And it mimics basically what the support group is doing to the work group. That means there's, there are pressure differentials and uh, the valve needs to hold this, pre this pressure differential. There's a set point for zero. This has to be adjusted very well. Um, then another important part is basically the the, the dead play, the play of the of this lever relative to the movements opening and closing these these little valves. So um, the spec of Mercedes is two millimeter differential height of the of the axle uh, means that this valve is reacting two millimeters. This is a very very tight tolerance. Um, this has to be adjusted after the thing is finished. I, I will demonstrate you a little leak test. What I will show you now is basically the leaking of these parts. Um, this is a special tool that I machined for testing STK, especially. So I will insert this here. Let's get it in. Uh, I'll close it off. So when I put pressure on this side, I will try to put 10 bars on the side. So I'll pump it up, try to pump it up. This is a pump for mountain bikes. As you see, I pump it up. Now I'm at 10 bars. And we have to wait what this is doing. So, um, I already see that the pressure is going down. This is leaking. I can see that right away. If you have some experience with this, uh, there's not much air in this in the in the test equipment, and any leak and any slight leak will show up immediately. So we are at nine bars right now. It will go down to zero. This is this is the problem. Uh, so the work group is leaking. With this part, see, we are at 8.5. Um, there's no way out. Your car will go down on this side if there is a leak. So we are at 
8 bars right now, 7.5. I'm stopping that now. So I will, what I, what I will do, I show you one of the remanufactured parts, which I will insert, and uh, you will see that it's not now going down. So I'll take that out. Sitting quite well. Oops. Sorry. <laughs> uh, here it is. It's the old part. Let me see where I have that. Yeah, I brought two remanufactured ones. So these are new bullets. So this sits in here. Close it up. it up to 10 bars that's about the support pressure for the front valves so I can leave that for a while so each of the new valves will have this test and if it passes the test the new valve will go into into the prepared body. Okay, maybe we just let it sit for a while. Um, and I will try to do the test for the e-valve here. Maybe you can see this one. This is the the e-valve is relatively easy to find out. It has a very soft spring here while the A valve has a strong spring. It has to work against um, the, the pressure, uh, the work pressure. The pressure in the, in the bellow is 5 to 8 bars probably and uh, this pressure has to be um, held by the, by the A, A valve. So the spring is very strong in the A valve. In the E valve, the spring is very soft. And uh, I will put 10 bars on. And if it's leaking, it's clear. It must be the check valve. So you need some experience with the testing of these valves. I just brought this mobile testing equipment here. This is uh, the architecture office we are filming here uh, because it's easier here. The light is better and there's more space. So you have to, I, I'm trying to do it properly, tighten the screw. If I put 10 bars on this, on this valve and this comes loose, it's a, it's a clear, it's a, it's a real bullet. It shoots out. It's dangerous, so I should wear goggles. So, okay, so while this is still sitting here, you know, it's not moving. So this is, I can see that right away, it's, uh, it is tight. So the new, the new toggle, the new STK is tight. We are testing the old E-valve, the intake valve. So I'll try to pump it up. It's not even trying, you know, it's leaking right away. Oh, well, there it is. Okay, now it's coming. Let's try. 
try to pump it up to 10. I can even hear it. So you see, this is leaking. Um, this valve is no good. So just to show you uh, what happens if you test these, these valves. So there's no pressure on it. Right now I take it out. And uh, this is still good here. So this is the difference between a remanufactured bullet and the old one. Um, well, this is it for for this session. This is uh, there's a lot to talk about with this air suspension, but I want to keep it simple for the time being. And maybe there's a next session coming up. Thank you so much. I really appreciate what Martin Warminghausen has done uh, to, you know, come up with a way to re rebuild these valves. I mean, the resources are dwindling. New parts are no longer available. I mean, I don't even know what some of these people are going to do down the road that own, you know, the 300 SEL, the 6.3, 3.5, 4.5, the old 112, 300 SEs, and even the 600. Uh, by the way, I got this interesting note from Martin. He said he is currently rebuilding uh, the valves for the uh, Sultan of Oman's 600 limousine. Now, that's pretty cool. So. I'm very happy. I'm very happy he's done this for me. I'm very appreciative. I'm looking forward to getting these valves back soon. And when they come back, we'll shoot the next part where we reinstall these and we can hopefully get this car done and out on the road for a road test. Because Martin, as Martin said many times, this is why we love this air suspension. When it is working right, there is nothing like it. Absolutely nothing like it in terms of ride and handling. So Martin thinks it's worth the effort. I think it is too.